coach, and then questions for student athletes. Well, um, that's a big ball game, you know, and, and um, my hat goes off to Taylor. Um, I think she definitely showed some maturity and um, is definitely ready for the challenge ahead of us. So very excited about that. It was nice to get Reyna back in the lineup. Um, as you can see, she hasn't missed a beat. Uh, made it look kind of easy. Um, and uh, what can I say about uh, T. Statman coming off the bench, driving into two runs, which was huge. But just a great uh, effort. I thought we swung the bats better than the uh, number showed. Um, we squared some balls up, but right at people. Um, but I think we need to make a little quicker adjustments. Uh, we've hit a lot of ground balls, which I will take uh, over a lot of pop-ups in the game of softball. So right now it's just a matter of getting some rest and, and know that we've got a, a big day ahead of us tomorrow. So right now, what did it feel like to be back? Uh, it just felt like normal. I got back in bed as well. Like, I everything was fine. yesterday so um, but the defense today was the key for me um, going out there really uh, being able to use my defense and trust them um, a lot more you know than yesterday so um, just really coming out and trying to get balls in the, in the infield um, later in the innings you know trying to get them to swing earlier in the count to limit the pitches that I've been throwing um, but you know it, it was a close game it was a great game these are the types of games that you're going to see in the postseason and uh, uh, yeah you know Reyna, what's the timetable for you to go back in the field and play defensively? Um, I think I'm still taking it day by day fielding just because it's a bit more intense, but whenever I can, I will. And then swinging the bat, what was that like with your hands? Is that what would that um, feel like? It felt regular to me. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do you have to feel the club with that clutch hand? Yeah. So what I've kind of learned over the past four years is that there really isn't a big difference between GP and pinch hitting, and the only difference is that when you pinch hit, you see a lot of pitches from other people's at bats. So knowing that coach has the trust in me that I can go get it done, and my teammates have my back that I can get it done. It just it's just a it's your first at bat of the game, and who says that you can't get it done? Coach, why do you have that kind of trust? Well, I think she's a type of kid that um, watches the game uh, very carefully, and, and as you can see right there, uh, watches the game, understanding her role, and knows what she's looking for. So I just felt like. Um, she, she doesn't swing a lot of bad pitches, um, and um, she really hits left-handers sometimes better than right-handers. So I was looking at numbers today, and I felt like she was going to be the one off the bench if needed to be, and it, it worked out. So it's kind of nice when it works out. With with a 3-1 count like that, do you always have have them swinging on the you know? She had a 3-1 count, and you had her swinging twice. Well, 3-1 count, I'm you, you know that's a hitter's count. I mean. Obviously, I don't want to walk you. This kid made it a little bit easier because she didn't really start using her off-speed pitch until before the end of the game, and her rise ball was out of the zone completely. So, you know, if you can sit on something down in the zone um, and uh, get on time, I thought that was the big thing early in the game. Um, you know, she's probably bringing it, I'm, I'm guessing, probably high 60s, maybe 70. And so the big thing is getting your front foot down and, and staying short to the ball. So I love the inning that we hit three line drives, you know. So this team has been good at making adjustments. I don't worry too much about that. Um, I would love to see us be able to uh, be ready that first inning and be a little more on time. Coach, what do you think about this team's potential to win a lot of and win in a lot of different ways? I mean, you guys have won two games now here without hitting a home run. I mean, what does that mean yeah, to you? Awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, you, at, at this stage of the game, if you understand postseason, you're going to be facing really good pitching, and um, you have to do the little things. You know, I think trying to set you up for opportunities to score a run are important. In every inning, we try to make sure we try to get the leadoff hitter on. We're, we're probably in 
certain situations they're going to move that runner, but I thought Hannah Bowen was uh, key today. Uh, she had two really good bunts, moved us in position that even a ground ball can maybe score a run. It didn't work out that way, but that's the type of softball you have to play. Um, you know, it's some days you're going to be hitting the ball over the ballpark, but some days you got to fight like hell to, to move runners and put yourself in position. And there's a lot more ways to score from third base than there is from second base. Um, I'm not so sure at first base, you know, back in the day I used to sack bunt a lot uh, with a runner at first, but really if you look at the statistics, um, it's probably not your favorite. You know, and when you're facing good pitching, um, the innings make a difference. There's a lot of things that go into that. Um, but right now we got to just find a way to put up a W, you know, and it's not how many you score, it's getting good pitching, getting timely hitting, playing good defense, and if those three things are occurring, then we have an opportunity. Taylor, early on in the game, you had that base delivery jam one out, and uh, Coach Moet, sorry about that, Coach Moet came out to talk to you. Uh, what did she have to say to you? Um, you know, I think at that point, in, earlier in the game, you know, the umpire had a pretty, a pretty good strike zone for the most part, and, um, you know, she just came out and reassured me that, hey, you know, they're not hitting them, you know, Piss rockets to the outfield, they're just barely getting them through the infield. So we're hitting spots, and especially in that part of their in Auburn's lineup, we have to really attack the zone. And at that point, she pretty much said, I don't need the ball to move, I need to hit a good spot so we can get it out here. Um, you know, and it just it worked in our favor. Um, but I think that the best part about it is the defense was relaxed the entire time, and I think that um, it's super exciting to see that in the postseason because. I think earlier on in the year when we would get in jams like that, we would all kind of get tense and tight, and now it just feels super relaxed. Everybody's calm. Everybody knows that we can work with one another. Anybody can get an out. Um, that's really nice to know when you're pitching, especially in jams like that. It's um, it's a confidence booster for sure, just knowing that you have a whole team behind your back. Any other questions? Yeah, Coach, you Thank you. Thank you.